The original story contains content that is not safe for work and may not be suitable for all audiences. If you are an underage or overly sensitive individual, I suggest you to just click off the video. Enjoy at your own risk. The Forbidden Robot There was a time on the internet where people used to make rumors about an episode called, Pingu Goes Missing. It later turned out the rumors were real, and that it isn't an aired and banned episode of Pingu. In this episode, Pingu and Pingo enters a mysterious cave, and both went missing. The only time the episode was aired was in 1990, but no recordings of it exist online, other than a few pictures. According to rumors, Pingu's dad is ironing, and Pingu is practicing his writing while his mom watches, when Pingu comes over and asks if Pingu can come out to play. The parents say it is alright, and the two young penguins are outside in a flash. They play with Pingu's ball, and Pingu gets so carried away, that he kicks the ball backwards over his head, and it goes off into an overhang in the ice. Pingu goes to retrieve the ball, but the ground wobbles under his weight. Pingu tries edging over to the ball himself as he weighs less, but the ground still tips forward under him. Pingu then gets Pingo to sit down on the end of the wobbling ice, to keep it in balance while he tries again to fetch the ball. Suddenly, Pingo stands up without thinking, and they all fall through the ground into an ice cave. Immediately following this, the entrance collapses above them, and the screen cuts to static for a few seconds, before showing Pingu, frightened, looking around the cave. The cave was really dark at this point, and the screen shows Pingu crying, when the black hand of a mysterious creature is shown, capturing Pingu for a split second. A roar is also heard in the background. It then shows an absolutely upset Pingu running and hiding inside a small cave, crying. You can then hear the creature laughing in the background, along with Pingu crying when the screen fades to black. After a few seconds, it then fades to a new scene at the igloo, with mother and father, very worried that Pingu has still not returned, and the time was late, and they decide to go look for him. Mother walks ahead and calls for Pingu, while father drives close behind on his tractor sledge. The screen cuts to black again for a few seconds, before it cuts to another scene. This time, it was Pingu in a very dark room. He then wakes up, and sees that his friend Pingo's dead corpse was in front of him, on a chair. His stomach was cut open, however it was censored. Pingu then screams, and he looked terrified when you can hear the creature laughing, and then it appears on screen. Its body was completely dark, except for its eyes shining, it had long ears like a dog, and had huge claws. The creature then speaks, in a robotic voice. Little did you know. I was gonna kill you, and everyone you loved. It then shows its large claws, ready to attack Pingu. The scene zooms in on Pingu's terrified face for a split second, before the screen cuts to black. After that, it shows a black and white picture of Pingu and his family, except Pingu's eyes were censored. The camera zooms in on Pingu's face for a few seconds, before it fades to black. This episode was placed under an official ban from broadcast or video distribution, and later banned from all future American airings, due to its very dark jock material. The creature's design looked like the yellow creature that appeared in Otmer Gutman's test films, except its ears are different. They can be seen here. The opening and outro sequences for the episode is completely different. The opening is just a still frame of the second intro, used in season 3 and 4, but Pingu's eyes were censored, and it was in black and white. The theme song this time was really slowed down, along with eerie sounds, and another sound getting louder and louder, while the static started to fade on the screen, to the point where it cut to black. The outro sequence however, is almost the same. The difference is that, like in the opening sequence, it was in black and white. Pingu's eyes were still censored, and the theme song was a bit slower this time. The Hit Entertainment logo was changed to, Hit Entertainment Nightmares, and instead of the logo being blue, it was red. Another unknown company was shown named, Nightmares Incorporated, and contacting Trick Film Studio about the company will lead to a negative response by them, stating its personal information. And after the logos, a segment is shown, with a picture of Pingu. 
Again, his eyes were censored, this time with a static block, along with audio and text of the creature talking to Pingu, saying that him and his friend Pingu were delicious, and the creature threatened Pingu to kill his family and other friends, and eat them. The segment then ends with static. This was one of the darkest Pingu episodes ever made, besides, Pingu runs away and Pingu's dream. Furthermore, this episode could probably be the series finale. In the scene, there is a goof where the entrance to the cave collapses, the ball is gone, 